I plan to talk about what the ARB is all about, and Sandy McHenry is going to talk more specifically about this particular application. Um, I do want to mention that the ARB really appreciates everything the McDonald's have done to McDonald's. You can tell I'm nervous, okay, but if I say that, I'll calm down, so I apologize. The McConnell's, McConnell's did to help uh, improve the appearance of Clifton Forge and the, and the bank. I believe it is unfortunate that this issue arised about the mural. And I think it's partially our fault because we used the wrong term. We said we denied it because of historic significance. We really should have said historic aesthetics because what the board is doing is looking at the changes to the town that need to fit in with the historic atmosphere of the town. For example, um, a mural should have <coughs> muted colors because that would look more historic than something bright. But what I really want to do right now is talk about how the ARB got started and why it even exists. In Clifton Forge, we have a historic district, and it was um, considered historic because it is on the National Register of Historic Places, and it's also on the Virginia Landmark of Register. And that's really quite a special um, honor because you can have ta tax credits if um, you're qualified um, in terms of rehabilitating your your building. Now, I kind of just found out recently that Clifton Forge and that section of town was put on the AR, uh, was put on the historic register in 1992. And in 1992, city council at that time initiated the historic district designation and also developed the ARB to make sure that we preserved the historic appearance of, of that section of town. Now, the ARB has not been in continuous operation since 1992. It started again, <coughs> excuse me, in 2005, and it consists of five members that town council uh, appointed. I think the important thing is that the ARB is trying to make sure that the architectural um, changes in downtown are compatible with the historic features. And I kind of want to just go through some of the process. If, if someone in the downtown historic section wants to make changes to a building, they go to town hall, get the application, and it is then sent to the ARB, which kind of looks at all the changes they're making the color, the material, um, the, the size, and then determines whether it is historic in nature and fits into the whole atmosphere of what a historic town is supposed to look like. And we have guidelines. It's not arbitrary. The guidelines are in the Clifton Forge Zoning Ordinance and um, also in the Standards for Rehabilitation, rehabilitation which is by the U.S. Department of the Interior. And this is actually referred, referenced in the town ordinances. So, so we do have guidelines. We're not, you know, making up anything. Now, we have found in the past that paint colors have been an issue. And I think it's because someone would bring a two-by-two two sample of a color, and when it was put on the building, it would look different. So because of that, we decided to adopt the historic colors by Sherman Williams. And <clears throat> it's listed in town, the town hall. And actually, if you check other towns with historic guidelines, they have similar palettes. Okay. Um, I wanted to kind of show we this sign is on the interstate east of Clifton Forge, and it mentions that historic downtown Clifton Forge is something that is important to 
to see and visit. And um, I, I put that there because a lot of people talk about it being an art town. Well, we do have very skilled artisans in the town and they are at the Clifton School of the Arts and they're in the Arts and Crafts um, Center, Arts and and I think it, it is nice that we are so, so talented, but we're also very much a historic downtown Clifton Forge. And the ARB is trying to maintain that um, because it, it allows for tax credits. And it's something that is done all over the country. Uh, I have a, um, a magazine that comes from the National Trust of Historic Places, and they have um, grants for people and it really is something throughout the country that people are trying to preserve their historic heritage. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.